our next member has a our next presenter has a tough job because some of the people he's worked with sorry about that some of the people he's worked with over the years are in the audience Steve Clark I hope is a household legend he is in my household anyway uh, he Henry Elliott and um, and Gina Morelli, I think, are all mentioned in the current issue of Wooden Boat, a particularly great article by Rob Mazza, who unfortunately can't be with us right now for a family reason, but Rob will be back. The C-Class rocks. I have no idea what Steve is going to talk about, but I can't wait to hear it speak about old friends. This is where it all falls apart. No, it doesn't. It, 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 it gets better. Uh, hello. Hey, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Um, I love what you've done with your hair. <laughs> um, uh, we've uh, had lots of discussion this evening about actual designs. I'm actually going to start this with the classic joke about how many designers does it take to change a light bulb. The answer, of course, is, well, how many designers would you like it to take to change a light bulb? Um, I'm, uh, which, of course, is about the use of boats and everything else. <laughs> C.K. Dexter Haven, uh, in the Philadelphia story, in order to prove that this guy was a total toff in the exclusive mainline community, he designs sailboats, class sailboats, very high class sailboats. OK, one design, and Macaulay Connor, the man of the people, basically says he's useless. One designs, good parts, good parts of one design. Strong classes have uh, longest life of any product. You can't go out and you, the strongest marks in the, in the small boat building world are laser, 40 years old, optimist, 50 years old. Um, this, but the bad part is you can't change them and then you have to fit in, okay? This is an optimist regatta, holy Christ, where did my kid go? <laughs> As a dad with ADD, with two kids of this regatta, it's absolutely hell. Okay, it's absolutely awful. Okay, um, it you just it's it's and you know the cougars aren't worth it. Um, <laughs> local regattas, okay, local fleets. It's hard to maintain the critical mass. Okay, because it, they 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 you all have to buy the same thing. It can't, you can't come up with anything more exclusive than a one design sailboat. It's all about excluding people that don't conform. And uh, that's not exactly a friendly, welcoming place. OK, there's a lot of screaming, yelling, bumping, and there's not a lot of tolerance for wankers. You know, um, you don't fit in, you get shat out the back. And it's just pretty mean. And uh, that's not a, so uh, I had to put Steve Jobs in there because um, the use defines the product. Ultimately, the software and the hardware are indistinguishable. And if the app sucks, the product sucks. OK? And so are regattas a positive value for consumers? And uh, an example, consider Jim Godby's last 10 days. He went to the A-class North Americans in his new boat. It cost him about $25,000 to build the boat. Four days of driving, seven days at the venue and the hotel. Four days glassed out with not enough wind, two days blown out, one day of racing. <laughs> My friend Rob, uh, and this isn't that unusual. Um, most weekend regattas, you start sailing, blah, 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 blah. I can rant along like this, but basically you're, uh, you're better off staying doing something else, OK? <laughs> and uh, this, is, this is sort of a, a, a rotten you know, thing. Um, you know, and training doesn't seem to help, OK? We're actually. Well, we need to train more people. Well, Title IX has put more women in sailing. Colleges and optimists, you can get actually recruited to sail at college now. So the junior programs have gone up there. You know, are, are all up, you know, I did this for 30 years at Vanguard. And the dirty <laughs> secret is regattas suck. They really do. And um, if they suck, then people aren't going to buy the boats that are designed to do them. OK, so maybe we need to think about other ways of using boats that isn't just the regatta. OK, so supported activities, 
establish your brand, and develop the exp expertise of your user group. That's a good thing to do. Okay. Um, the use drives sales. No one buys stuff for boats that just sit around. Okay. And the user groups drive the use. Okay. So, a couple of ideas. A social network regatta. Okay. <laughs> one day a week, we're all going to. Uh, one day this summer, we're all going to sail our boats. Okay. Everyone goes sailing with a GPS. In this case, a Velocitech. Um, they send the 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 ink blot into the into the and blah blah or. I'm going, I'm going, not so well here, but anyway. Adventure, adventuring, you know, actually uh, described as life-changing, things that people remember. You don't remember necessarily the three-day regatta you sailed at Matalokang Beach. One great challenge is the Everglades Challenge, and I like the uh, chief's description of the water tribe here, is to encourage, it, it strikes me as being just about the kind of thing as designers we should be trying to do. Okay, so here's an activity that actually is about increasing the competence, increasing the effectiveness of little boats doing voyages. Other ones, uh, the Archipelago Raid in Stockholm, um, the Tybee 5000, five, uh, the Round Texel, the Texas 200. These happen in multiple small boats. Some of them are catamarans, some of them are, are uh, you know, are, are sail and paddle boats. Um, and that's fine. What do the boats look like? They're small, seaworthy, efficient, self-reliant and self-rescuing. Safety and communication gear is, is integrated into the design, human propulsion, and um, these are all highly de desirable drivers for uh, yacht design or, or the next, another level of design. Um, you know, for example, consider a six-oared gig with a sailing rig, you know, like the Atlantic Challenge boats, but not quite so funky, actually make it so it's safer. Um, and you do a bunch of things like go across the channel or, um, you know, sail, go, go around Block Island or something like that. Um, a fishing derby, okay? Small boats fishing out of small sailboats. No one does that. And yet angling is one, is you can't talk about motorboat sails without talking about angling. That's why people buy motorboats is so they can sit in them and fish. So we make a, we, 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 what does a small sailing fish boat look like? Okay, this is the, the last bit. I was a partner in the largest sailboat building company, and I, you, you know, um, we never generated enough margins to really support anything creative. Um, I would occasionally blow off like this in a, at a sales meeting or something like that and tell people what they do. Everyone would just say, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.